In this tutorial, we'll see how to use Ansible rejects search filter. Here we'll see how to parse show version command and extract device version information. There are more reliable parsers available in PyATS and NTC templates for the commands which I'm going to demo. Here our focus is on understanding how to use rejects search filter. If you are parsing device configuration, prioritize using existing parsers to minimize the complexities associated with custom regex patterns. Here in this example, we'll see how to write a basic regex pattern and how to create groups, how to enable multi-line, then how to create named groups. So let us start writing the code. I'll go to VS Code. And I have already created a task for executing show version command and storing this into variable and printing the output. This is running on R3 and this is CSR 1000V device. First, we'll try running this playbook. So here we are getting STD out lines. So this will be a list with each line as a string. And here we are getting entire output in single string to get this data we need to use dot std out zeroth element save it and we'll run it again now here we are getting the entire string and here if you notice all the new lines are represented using slash n now i'll go to device console here I have already executed show version command. I'll copy this content. And to frame the regex pattern, we can use regex 101. We can paste the content here. We need to select Python. And we'll take this information from the output. So I'll type Cisco. So it is matching the word Cisco in all the places. And here I'll give dot. Dot means any character including space. If I give plus, it will go till the end of the line. And wherever we have the word Cisco, it is going till the end of the line. Now here we can give a space or even slash s also we can give. I'll give space then software. Now it is matching only in two places. If I give comma here, it will match only here. Space version and here also you will be able to see the total match. So here we have only one match version then we'll give a slash s and numbers are represented using slash d in regex then we'll take all the other characters we give slash capital s it will be non-space characters now it is matching with only one non-space character if i give plus it will go till the end so now this is matching even the version information now if you want to fetch only this part we can create a group you put this in a parenthesis on the right side you can see there is a group created now we'll start writing the regex pattern in ansible pipe regex search and within that inside quotes we need to copy and paste the pattern and if you try running this as it is we will get the syntax error in ansible we will see that so it is saying unknown escape character so whenever we are giving slash it is considering as an escape character so we need to give two slash 
everywhere save it and we'll try running the playbook here if you see we are getting the exact match what we have seen here now if you want to access the group one data we'll comment this comma then double slash one so this will be able to access the regex group one data now we'll try running the playbook we need to save it and run it now we are getting the version information from show version command now we'll see how to get the host name and uptime of the device i'll go to regex 101 here i'll give uptime is and before that we have host name so what we can do here we'll give slash s plus and then we have a space and after uptime there is a space and then we have the uptime i'll give dot dot will match any character and if i give plus it will match till the end of the line this also i'll put it in a group now we have two groups group one is host name and group two is device uptime we'll go to vs code take a copy of this line copy the regex we'll put it here and here we'll try to print group 1 and 2 i'll save it and we'll try running the playbook so here also we need to give double slash here we are getting the host name and uptime here we can even give multi-line true so this will even consider multi-line data and now we'll see how to use named groups here we have two groups group one is host name and group two is uptime take a copy of this here inside group we need to give question mark p and i'll give host name copy this here i'll give uptime now here instead of one we need to give slash g host name slash g uptime even we can change the order here for example here we can give uptime here i'll give host name save it and now we'll try running this now this is printing uptime first and host name second now if you want to search it by ignoring the case sensitivity we can do ignore case equal to true save it
fill it is matching. In this way, we can use reject search in Ansible.